Hey everyone, Destin here for iGen. I'm joined by John from Epic, and John, you are showing us the new Fortnite replay tool. You've paused the game, but his cape is still flowing. What's happening? Yeah, so uh, the replay tool is really awesome. It's coming up in the next couple uh, versions here of Fortnite. Um, basically, we're capturing a bunch of data about the game when you're playing live, uh, and then we can use that to play back at a later time uh, and fly around the map and see a bunch of cool stuff from other people. So you're just jumping from player to player right now? Yes. Easily. So right now, yeah, I'm jumping from player to player. Uh, I can actually go off and go to like a drone free cam here, and I can just sort of freely go around the map and see the action as it happens. Wow. So that's really cool. You're actually using a controller right now to do all this, but we're on PC, correct? Yeah, we're on PC. So uh, Unreal Engine has a nice perk of being able to support PlayStation 4 and Xbox controllers. That's sort of out of the gate. So uh, if you are more comfortable with mouse and keyboard, that's totally viable. If you're more comfortable with controller, that's great too. So what about your uh, your photographers out there? Can you use this for photos also? Uh, what, yeah. what, what kind of tool sets do you have available to you? So right now, obviously, you can drone, follow around everything else. We also have a bunch of camera settings. So aside from just turning on things like nameplates, player outlines, we also have uh, exposure settings, wow. aperture, focal length, uh, and autofocus. And what this means is that while you're flying around, you can line up really cool shots uh, and actually have the same sort of cinematic tools with anybody who's familiar with Unreal Engine uh, can use in sequencer. So I'm just going to get a character into focus here. Uh, we'll turn our autofocus on. It's already on. I'll get up real close. And what you can see is we're doing a ray trace from the center of the screen to this character, and everything else kind of blurs. But nice. if I pan away and we get onto the back, let me change the drone speed here a little bit. You can actually see things come in and out of focus as we get closer. So as we pan by, she's kind of out of focus, and we'll come in, sit on her, zoom, and go back yeah. again, and it goes out. Autofocus is doing its job. Autofocus cool. is doing its job. We can change uh, apertures. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a cinematographer. I don't know, you know how to line up shots great. But uh, it's just a fun tool to play around with, right? So you can also adjust uh, focal planes and bring it in really close. And you can see the background gets blurry. Uh, bring it out far again and, and do all that fun stuff. That's cool. Can we jump to a player at a different spot in the map right now? And oh, just, absolutely. Just see so, if there's some action going on. Sure. So what we can see here is I just brought up the map mode. Um, and we can go to our entire player list. Uh, who's ever highlighted here is somebody who's still in the match and then we can jump to. So we can see who I'm currently on. Uh, I can just go to, let's go to Kuro Equinox, who happens to be the person who recorded this, uh, and we'll let it play out, and we'll actually put us on the gameplay cam. Uh, and so we have different camera modes that allow different things. Gameplay uh, actually lets you see what the characters saw in the game. There's other things like third person where we can hover a little bit farther back and have those uh, camera controls to zoom in, zoom out, um, get in on the action. Um, and you still have all the effects turned on. You still have your depth of field and everything going right now. It looks yeah, like. yeah. So correct? you can still, yep. So we can still go and play and change any of the auto exposures. Uh, You've slowed down time. Oh, yep, I timed That's down. That's not a new ability. <laughs> not a new ability, no. Uh, but so cool things like that. We can also speed up here a little bit. <laughs> Get some really, uh, really awesome shots. But uh, it's like I was see. playing PUBG there for a second. Yes. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Oh, so we've got, I'll go back to the drone free here. Oh, it looks like my controller. Going too fast. Going a little too fast, couldn't keep up. So, hopefully here we'll see some action. Right, he's got the drop on a, yeah, so another we'll, crew. We'll slow that down a little bit, make it a little, uh, let's little get more a, cinematic. Let's get a cool shot of him firing his gun crouched in the grass. All right, let me pause this real quick. There you go, nice. Let me, uh, having some technical difficulties. There we go. Okay, so now we're on drone free here. I'm gonna push us back about 15 seconds. And so we can, we'll slow-mo into this and we'll allow it to play. And so we'll try to get a nice shot lined up. We'll wait for him to crouch. So for, to start firing. so for people who want to make movies, can they capture this? How do they do the capture part? Um, so right now, I don't believe we have anything built into capture. So you would still need to use uh, like an tool. Auto or something like that. Yeah, you'd still need to use some other capture device. But what you can see here is like you or can shadow play or shadow play. Yeah. Get anything, any tool set that you're familiar with, um, and you know, follow it however you want, uh, line it up, and or even like the the normal like on Xbox or PlayStation capture the last 15 minutes or, or and, and publish it that way. Um, really cool. Yeah. So now we can, now that we've paused this, we can actually see like the bullets flying through the air and everything. Uh, and we can, you know, zoom around, pan around. 
get some cool shots. We can even, you know, if we wanted to, line it up behind him and then follow this over to the other player, right? So we'll, I'm going to drop the dilation a bit and we'll fly over and we'll kind of pull out here. And we can see where his bullets are hitting, who where he's his bullets at. are coming from, right? So now he's still in the grass firing over here. And now we're, we've got that same shot. Oh, he clearly just hit her and broke her shield. Yep. Um, but, you know, just tons of cool stuff that we're hoping people are able to do with this. Take it online, show their friends what they did, um, and just awesome content we're hoping for it to come out. That's great. What do you hope to see from the community? Like, what's one of the first things? Do you want to see, like, a red versus blue style machinima? Uh, honestly, anything that the community comes up with is, is sure to be awesome. But, yeah, personally, I think a red versus blue would be would be really sweet. Uh, seeing those types of, you know, bantery comics or, or anything like that to come out. Um, I think the coolest thing is going to be able to see all of those viral videos that you see now where people are skydiving off of the top, coming down and getting those headshots, but in slow motion, right? So they're going to be jumping off and then stop mid pause frame, do like a pan around and then continue. Those kind of accents on it are, are going to drive the community. It'll be awesome. This is super cool. As a guy who works in video, I'm really excited to mess around with the tool set. When can I expect it? Uh, it should be out in the next few versions here, so within the next month or so, you should see it hit. Um, and after it's out, where it should be access on uh, consoles and PC, um, PC and Mac, so that's what we're aiming for, and it's uh, it's a really cool tool set. Cool, and when are you guys releasing on Switch? Um, I can't <laughs> speak to that, I'm sorry. All right, well, thank you so much, John. This is super cool. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Guys, for more on Fortnite, keep it right here on IGN.